everybody, welcome to the Mike from Millie One Network here on YouTube. Welcome back to my Hawaii Warriors Dynasty. Soon to be the second to last episode. This is the last regulate regular season game because Chris Olsen is so terrible. But speaking of teams that are terrible, we got the Utah State Aggies. And just we're gonna rock out our Our away uniforms one last time because this team, the, their quarterback just doesn't seem to match my style. Of course, I'm staying home because, well, risk of rain and boy, what did it pour just a couple of hours ago? <laughs> so, hopefully, on Tuesday, we should get. Back to the Disney stuff because there is one thing I would like to do actually. The fans create a wonderful football atmosphere here in E.L. Romney Stadium. Hi everybody, Brad Nessler in the booth along with Kirk Kirk Street. Aaron Andrews is reporting from the sideline. We're brought to you today by Spark, because better athletes make better football players. We've got the Hawaii Warriors and the Aggies of Utah State. Oh, boy. And here come the Aggies, the team that is so terribly awful. They're 2-9. and nine. Um, Now, you know you have a good team if your team is that. That's for, oh, someone has their jacket on, so here come the Aggies. Here come the Aggies. So here we go. We lose that toss, dang nabbit. So here we go. Before we get that started, we're going to take a look at the injury report. We're fine. Well, Utah State has a couple of injuries, including their... Wait, their right guard is Marshall Mitchell's 56? I guess he must be injured. They're one of their top players, Lamar Harvey. He's out. 75 with questionable. And Brian Phillips is out with the train quad step. All right, Austin. Show us what you got, man. Handing it off to Jerry Cole. Jerry Cole runs it and he is. He is off to the races. We're 15 minutes. We're almost 20 seconds into the game and already we're off to a good start. Touchdown, Hawaii. Well, like for right there. You thought he was going to get caught there? Nope. Cole knew where he was going. 80 yard touchdown by Jerry Cole. Nicely done, sir. Well played, sir, and I chose the wrong play. Alright, I guess we're going to show how terrible Chris is at, is at rushing his on his own. Ah! Uh, Chris! And now they tied it up. Nice. Wait, where's Hawaii's fans? I. Yeah, one mistake can cost you. And that. That was a poor decision. And now we got the Smith brothers out. And there's Chris. He got the throw off in time. First down, Hawaii. Nice job. Way to rebound after that fumble. By the way, where's Hawaii's fans? I'm curious. Where are they? They're not on the Jumbotron. So we know who's finishing in last place at the end of the year. So this will be the last day of episodes here. And oh! 
Jack threw it right into the hands of the safety. I can't believe he dropped it. In other words, he sucks. Nice throw to Walker. Gets it first down. Let's see if Walker can score. No! There we see. Walker got it this time, and this time we get the touchdown. Nice throw to Smith, touchdown Hawaii! And now it is 20 to 7 as Utah State can't seem to solve our offense, except the only time they can solve our offense is if Chris makes a mistake, which they're probably begging for him to do. And, he, and Chris got picked again. No, Chris, this is his first pick. I forgot the last one. Got intercepted. Utah State fans are probably thrilled they got a mistake. They see nice throw to Ramirez. Is it going to be incomplete? Nope, first down. Austin hands it off to Jerry Cole. Don't go anywhere. But, oh, he got pushed. I should have been past interference, but who cares? We're probably going to win this thing. Last chance for Hawaii. We've been two for two on these third down conversions. Let's see if we can keep that streak going. And thus, that streak will continue. And not only that, it's another touchdown for Hawaii.
credit, but I think the thing that has helped him the most back there is the protection by the offensive line. He has had plenty of the fans in Honolulu, they're probably thrilled. See, nice throw to Walker. He gets taken down. First down, Hawaii. Well, the Utah State fans, they're saying, probably thinking, wait, should we just go? This team really sucks. We should be rooting for the Utah the Utes. Because this team is so terrible. There's Walker. He will score, and the fans are starting to leave the stadium already. And here we go 33 7. Yeah, no crap. Last chance for Hawaii. And there goes the stroke. Oh, pass interference. Oh, screw you, referee. Screw you, referee. Oh, thank you, referee. Thanks for costing us the score there. And thus killing our momentum. And thank you, Derek Williams. Yeah, there we go. Good job, Chris. Yeah, we should have had this Chris during the beginning of the year. Before we had that embarrassing loss to Western Kentucky. Oh, wait, we did. We won both of them. And uh, oh, of course, Monday we will have a lot more coverage here, including the debut of my new school here. And oh, gets picked. And now, and here we go with the Chris choking. And the game froze. Nope. Yeah, Chris is probably the reason why Utah State is, we haven't put them away yet. So here we go, first at one, a minute 45 left to go. This game is pretty much over unless Chris goes on a choking spree right now and now. And here we go. Tally, oh boy. Alright. Alright, we're three for five. Got it! Wow! So here we go. Throwing it to Jerry Cole. Gets it first down. There's the Chris's stats for right now. Like a render, so here we go. Oh, 
Oh, Chris, what are you doing? Utah State's begging for a mistake. Here we go. Tipped. And Utah State scored. Great. We're, we're choking. As the Utah State fans who are leaving, they're probably catching up on that. They're saying they're probably happy that Hawaii is choking. And there's Smith. Ben Smith. First down, Hawaii. Nice job. Yeah, this is why Chris doesn't, in Dynasty, he doesn't fit well with my team. Let's put this game away. And Chris gets sacked again. Sorry, you lose. Hope you learned your lesson. Oh my god, Chris, what are you doing? And there you see. Deflected. Great. Great. And oh, thank you, defense. Thank you. So I can't wait to see how this turns out on the post game show in Honolulu. They're probably saying Utah State had a terrible second half, but oh, a great first half sealed the deal. And, I have, and pretty much, I'm calling it out. Utah State's probably going to be one of the teams that wants me to join the school. I can guarantee you that. It's good. that it is probably going to happen, but you know what I'm saying? No. Utah State would be nice, but only in NCAA 13 or 14. And there's Jerry Cole. He gets pushed out of bounds and into the one of the cheerleaders. Well, the Utah State fans, they're probably realizing, oh, no, they're, they're on a roll. And we're going to hand them their 10th loss. Oh, uh, maybe not. Yeah, we're about to hand them their 10th loss of the season. Which means somebody's getting fired. And there's Bradley, first and goal. And Cole has back spasms. Great. Which means we got Ford, with Ford waiting for us. And there he goes. There he goes. to get to the end zone and of course number 51 says nope sorry you're not going anywhere screw you well we're guaranteed points at this point and there's Jerry Cole and he will finally score touchdown Hawaii and this game is over oh now we get the poor give Give them assault, insult to injury. Their, their quarterback is terrible. Oh, uh, should have should have turned sooner. Hawaii, they're gonna get their. Oh my God! Uh, at this point, I don't even. I don't really care at this point. There's a one rocker and he will score and that is it.
as Hawaii gets the victory 47 to 21. Although Chris's mistakes nearly cost the team, that first half sealed the deal as the Warriors go into the bowl game with some with heavy momentum. And alright guys, I think this should do it guys, and I'll see you guys for the bowl selection show. I'll see you guys later.